A young man from the community of Aja Deresomiku is dead following a shooting incident that occurred around 9 o'clock on Monday morning. The deceased has been identified as 26-year-old Nicholas Jebaptiste. Father of the deceased, Frederick Jebaptiste, says he had cautioned his son before going out to work in the morning. This morning when I was making preparation to go to work, um, uh, the, my the, the son just left leave the home, the, the home and then he, he went up the road. I, I, I told him not, 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 not to go, but I still go. He, he had a friend of his, friend of his commando for him. So they went up the road. A, 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 a good while after that, that about a, 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 a 20 minutes after that, as I was, I was just about, I'm taking the, the, the bus from the move, my, my, my wife called me and she told me that um, um, he, um, somebody come and tell, him, tell her that um, um, somebody shot, shot, shot the boy, shot um, my, my son. Jean Baptiste says that a young man had communicated to him that he intended to take his son's life. And they had condition before. Well, my, my son had beat him up once. So he himself told me that he, 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 he would have killed my son. He told me so once. This seems to be in keeping with reports from law enforcement officials, which indicate that the police were in pursuit of a known suspect who had been involved in a feud with the deceased. The victim's brother, Aloysius, says he had anticipated the situation and communicated his concerns to the police to no avail. It's a long story, but I'll try and make it brief. You see, had the police, you know, reflect on what I mentioned to them, because I did make a report, I directly called them before anything happened. Had they been there on time, none of the them kind of things would not have happened today. You understand? But anyway, whatever that happened, it has already happened. There's nothing I can say, nothing I, I can do. Videos of the aftermath of Monday morning's tragedy have since been shared across different social media platforms, with footage giving viewers the graphic view of the young man's white shirt stained with blood. Russell Lord for the HDS News Force.